guys, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of my monthly hits and shits series. So basically, um, these are all the products that I really loved and I really hated throughout the month of April. I do actually have quite a few shits in this video. A lot of products that I just really hated so much that frustrated me like crazy. So yeah, if you are interested in learning about the products that I loved and hated, then please keep on watching. All right, firstly for the favorites, the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Now I'm including in the favorites this month because I finally got a restock of this one. I had gone without it for maybe three to four weeks and I really, really missed it. This is honestly one of the best primers out there for oily skin. It does a great job of smoothing the skin right down to, you know, hide any enlarged pores or texture that you might have. It keeps your skin matte without you know like dehydrating it you know how some mattifying products and you're like oh like what is that on my face this is like a really beautiful moisturizing softening gorgeous mattifying primer that would just look amazing on your skin underneath pretty well any foundation if you are an oily girl like me Next up is a new product for me now I actually featured this in my recent three and a half thousand dollar makeup tutorial Yes, take a second, just process that. I know, ridiculous. If you haven't seen it, I will link it down below. It's fairly intense, but I discovered these during that tutorial. These are the Shiseido uh, Vital Perfection Wrinkle Lift Mask. So these are those little patch masks that you can actually stick on your face underneath your eyes. And in a box, you get 12 um, you know, individual sachets of the masks to you. So you just pop them on for 10, 15 minutes. I love to apply them underneath my eyes while I'm applying my eyeshadow because not only do they stop falling, out, but they really really treat the under eye area. I've noticed a huge difference in puffiness like my eyes get so puffy under there um, You know, they're really really well hydrated I find that my concealers look so much better and are far less likely to crease uh, You know when I use this before applying my makeup, you don't need to use it every single day I only use this probably I don't know once a week maybe twice if I'm feeling really spoiled um, But I absolutely love these I normally hate under eye patches I'm not gonna lie. You know all those ones that are like super rubbery and they you know, they look like jelly on your face. I really hate them. Like they slide off. They don't stay on my skin. These Shiseido ones are amazing. They're soft. Oh, I just could talk about them all day. I'm so happy I found them. And obviously as I get older, yes, it's an unfortunate fact of life. It's going to happen to all of us. <laughs> um, I'm getting more and more, you know, sort of wary about what I'm putting onto my skin and also about preventative anti-aging, you know, treatments and products um, to stop me uh, getting wrinkles because I don't want to have to get Botox if I don't have to. We'll see. Next up, I've got this highlighting palette from BH Cosmetics. Oh, you guys. This may be, in fact, my most favorite product in the entire video today. This thing is like ridiculous. Not only is it like the most perfect dupe of the Nicole Guerrero uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palette. It's less than half the price, but the pigmentation. <gasps> if you're standing up right now, just take a seat. Just take a seat and look at this. Let's do the old one finger swipe roo trick. Okay, are you ready? Uh huh. Let's try this one. One. Oh. Mm hmm. And maybe this one. Oh. I could cry. It's so beautiful. Like, seriously, if you are after an uber pigmented highlighting palette, you cannot go past this one. It's so affordable. Seriously ridiculous. Like, next level ridiculous. So, yeah, this one is by BH Cosmetics. I think it's like $15 or something. Don't quote me on that. I will link it down below. Um, but if you haven't been able to get your hands on the Nicole Guerrero uh, Glow Kit, which I rave about all the time, actually, let's do a little side by side comparison. Or you're on a bit of a budget, or, you know, you just haven't been able to get this one. You guys, this is seriously, I think that it's just as pigmented as the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I honestly do. Um, the pans are actually bigger even. The Nicole Guerrero one might have like a little bit more of like a glitter finish to it, but um, very similar color tones, you know, your pinks, your oranges, your whites and your golds, which is exactly the same as this one. So I'm really, really loving this one and I'm so glad that I discovered it. Next up, I've got an eyeshadow primer. This is also a recent discovery. This one is by Urban Decay. This is their eyeshadow primer potion and it is in the color caffeine. So um, Urban Decay has now released these in a bunch of different shades. You know, you can get white, you can get like a shimmery one, like whole stack of different ones. This one's like a really warm tone, bright. Brown. If you've ever used the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Groundwork, this will remind you very much of that. And you might not be able to see it on my skin, but that is it there. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have only used this once and I love it that much that I'm already obsessed with it. So I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. Now, I have had this on my eyes for quite a long time. 
no creasing, no choppiness, no chalkiness, and you can wear this as an eyeshadow, guys. I absolutely love this as an eyeshadow. It is the color that you're seeing kind of on my eyes. See how it's like very natural, very everyday, very slap it on in two seconds and you look perfect and you walk out the door. That is exactly what this is. And I mean, it also doubles as a primer. I feel like today's video is a lot about multi-use products. So you can use this as an eyeshadow base to, you know, for a dark smoky eye or for like a shimmery eye or for a warm tone brown eye. Um, you can use it for that. We can also just use it by itself as like a cream eyeshadow color. It works so well. I love the color. Like the color is honestly so perfect for just in the lid. If you want to look, you know, like you put effort in, but like you naturally look like that. Does that make sense? <laughs> I really, really love this one. All Urban Decay products are available from Mecca Maxima stores in Australia. Um, I do get a lot of questions about where you can buy Urban Decay in Australia and that's where you can get it. All right, next up, I've actually got a hair product. Now I hardly ever talk about my hair and I know you guys have been requesting, you know, a hair care routine and stuff. Um, I will talk a little bit more about it soon, but this is the, don't judge me if I get this wrong. Is it the, is it way? Away, way. Um, it's basically Jen Atkins' hairline. You can get this at Sephora. Um, this is her hair oil. Now, there's a bit of a backstory to this. I get pulled up constantly. Um, you know, well, not only by people who know me, but but by people you know, who have got no idea who I am and they say, oh my gosh, what is in your hair? It is so shiny. Honestly, I don't use super expensive fancy shampoos. My favorite shampoo to use is the Head & Shoulders Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Yes, I get dandruff. Yes, I'm human. Whatever. <laughs> but when I put this stuff in my hair, honestly, it is like prismatic high shine, like crazy. I haven't actually got it in today. Most of the time I do have it in my hair and it is just, it just makes your hair so glossy. It makes it look so healthy. And it also obviously tames the flyaways, which I can never actually get rid of. I've got naturally really frizzy hair, but you know, it's life. <laughs> All right, next up, I've got this product from ALF. This is their contouring blush and bronzer in the color Turks Caicos. Is that how you say it? Um, essentially, it's just like a duo product. It's got a blush and a bronzer. Now, don't be fooled by how this looks in the pan. I realize, in the, and I'm actually wearing it, um, I realize in the pan it looks very, very pale, like it's going to have no color payoff. It completely transforms color on your cheeks. This product is just so, like, so crazy pigmented. The bronzer is really dark. Um, again, so be careful how much you use. Super affordable, super easy to blend, very highly pigmented, and the colors are gorgeous. Now, I think that this here is a great dupe for NARS um, Casino Bronzer, and this here is a great dupe for NARS Luster Blush. So if you're into dupes, um, this is a really good one. I have tried a fair few e.l.f. products and, you know, haven't been particularly overwhelmed in the past, but this I'm so happy with. I've been using it, you know, every day um, and it's cheap. It's cheap. <laughs> so anyway, let's jump into the shits portion of today's video. So these are the products that I hated. I hate these. I honestly do. I've got, I, I have to be honest and it doesn't mean that I hate the brands or, you know, other products that those brands produce. You know, it's not like a blanket term, but um, I just can't get these products to work for me. You may be able to and if you can, I'm jealous because I've spent money on these and now I can't use them. <laughs> First up, and again, another long story. And can I just preface this with saying that I woke up at some ungodly hour of the morning, like maybe like 4 a.m. to be able to purchase these before they sold out. And they're terrible. So these are the Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick and Liners. These are her lip kits. Now she launched these ones... I'm going to say maybe a month ago. So these are supposed to have like a velvet formula, meaning that they don't completely dry down to a matte finish on the lips. Now they look like any other ordinary lip kits would. Still got the same really nice packaging. Um, I love the lip pencils. They're beautiful and creamy. But honestly, I wear these for five minutes. And within that period, I have that really disgusting, janky ass, foul looking line on the inside of my lip. You know that line? It looks like you've been chewing on cotton, like cotton mouth or something. And it's like this gross, like paste, like, oh, I don't know what it is about these, but they just like, you cannot wear them. You cannot, they don't last. You cannot wear them. You can get like five minutes wear out of these before you're in the mirror, like, you know, scooping that like crap out of your mouth. It's disgusting. I don't know what it is. And I'm a little devo because the colors are beautiful. They look beautiful in like lip swatch photos. I'm like, you know, with pretty makeup and all of this, but don't waste your money, guys. And don't wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning because it's just not worth it. Next up, I've got another lip product from NARS. Now, these are their Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. So I've got the shade Dimmy Baby and Dirty Mind. Colors are nice. Packaging's nice. Formula, um, like it, it's definitely matte, but I... I just don't understand these. They look so highly pigmented when you swatch them on your hands and I definitely swatched them um, in a haul video and everyone was like, oh, these colors are so pretty, they're so nice. 
they don't come up that pigmented on the lips. Like when I put them on the lips, it's nearly like the product separates while you apply it and your natural skin color shows through. Um, I didn't get the memo that these were meant to be like super, super sheer. It also settled a lot into, you know, the cracks and kind of crevices on my lips. It just, I don't know, it kind of looked like a lipstick that I'd had on for eight hours and I'd eaten and I'd done all sorts of other ungodly things with my mouth. And then I've been like, you look at, look at my lipstick. Like, mm. I don't know. And these were a new release, I think a couple of months ago. I, I ordinarily love NARS lip products. Like they're some of the best lip products out there, but I feel like these just totally missed the mark. Um, this is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the color dark. Looks really nice and cool tone and taupe in the pan, doesn't it? Mm -mm -mm. It makes your eyebrows red, like literally red. Like, hi, I'm a redhead. I love redheads, by the way. I've considered so many times in the past to dye my hair red. But I don't want red brows. I've got, you know, dark brown hair. I don't want red brows. And don't sell me a dark eyebrow kit that's red. Just don't. It's also really chunky. It's hard to blend. I got a stack of fallout using it. I'm sorry, but I really don't like it. And then lastly, <laughs> we have this. Now, again, if you haven't seen my three and a half thousand dollar makeup tutorial, it's, it just sounds worse and worse every time I say it. Go and watch that and you will be able to see my reaction live on camera to this. This is the Golan Meteorites Voyage. Uh, they call it their Exceptional Compacted Pearls of Powder. Essentially, it's meant to be like a face powder slash highlighting powder slash illuminator. It's $225. $225. I mean, I feel like you have to get a mortgage to buy it. Like, that is intense. But the even more shameful part is you put it on your skin and you've got no idea it's there. You literally cannot see it. You cannot see it. It doesn't highlight the skin. It doesn't illuminate the skin. It doesn't set down foundation or it doesn't do anything to the skin. Basically, this is $215 that I cannot use. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's so pretty to look at. I could look at it all day. I'm just peeved about it. Like, why is it so expensive? Like, I don't get it. What is the purpose of it? Why doesn't it work? My luxury makeup lovers out there, it's a complete waste of money and this is going into the archives of regrettably embarrassing decisions. So that is it for the video today, guys. I hope you uh, really enjoyed this. You guys seem to be really enjoying um, this Hits and Shits series. And I'm so glad that you are because I'm having a great time filming these for you every month. As always, let me know in the comment section down below, have you tried any of these products and had a different, you know, kind of experience or reaction to me? But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye.